What up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com. Dustin's Fish Tank's bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well because it's a sunny day in the greenhouse, folks, and I'm ecstatic to be bringing you not one but two species on this Species Sunday, baby. Sunday, loving it. Not one but two species. One obvious fish and one not so obvious plant in your face on a Sunday. Man, the sun on my face just like, oh, life is good. So, uh, Sunday, Species Sunday. I'm gonna talk about a fish today that comes from Peru uh, and then parts of uh, Brazil area. Com probably the most commonly known freshwater fish in the biz. Are you shocked I'm bringing you a Species Sunday today about Neon Tetras? Now look, we're gonna go a little different because I've talked about Neon Tetras before, but Neon Tetras for me, are just money because you get to see the example of a school and how a school acts when you get a ton of them together because the behavior is very, very different. So I wanna talk about Neon's high level. Uh, you know where they're from, very small space ball. Neon Tetras, not to be confused with Cardinal Tetras and I'm going on record now saying I like Neon Tetras more for me. My boys in Imperial can get you captive bred Cardinal Tetras if you want them, but I roll with Neon Tetras and here's why. Neon Tetras can handle a slightly higher pH than Cardinal Tetras. Cardinal Tetras come from more black water and the pH is generally lower. That's harder for me to replicate and probably harder for most of you to replicate. I would venture to say that most people watching this, their water tends to air on the harder side, above seven, uh, not below. So for me and us who have that, Neons are a better option because you don't have to work as hard to get it though. Cardinals do get bigger, they do have the full length. Uh, that's the difference too. So I roll with Neons, okay? Neon Tetras are known to get, uh, like, Neon Tetras, these are just basically incurable, which is why I got these hundred skanks out here with me. So they are out here chilling. I'm making sure I don't have any spots or anything like that. Um, they'll eat almost anything. I like to hit them with a little bit of bloodworms every now and then because obviously it's good for them. I usually do just a flake diet, but I like seeing them with the big bloodworms swimming around in their mouth. But the thing that I love most about the Neon Tetras, though, as you can see, is their individual behavior in a large school without a predator around. That's the thing. When there's not somebody around making them school, they have this really, really crazy behavior where they'll like go two of each other and just go like this and like this, this, this crazy like little like individual battles that they have and like a little school of five will chase people. Just the, the I don't know, it kind of remind me of like Smurfs or Lemmings or something, like the way they just as a group act. So loving me some neon tetras they also don't need quite as hot a water they actually prefer a little bit colder water than the cardinal tetras which is also how i roll with my tank slightly uh less temperatures so neon tetras throwing 100 in the 220 soon i'm really excited about it bring tell me what you love about neon tetras i mean come on they're like a staple of the hobby by the way they are not all over the place uh down in south america they're only a little pocket but then that pocket's been taken out i think they're actually uh bred a lot over in asia and then shipped over here so uh, readily available, bread in captivity, the whole deal. Get yourself some neons, folks. Just keep them skanks quarantined for a minute. So there's your fish on a species Sunday. Now I want to talk about a plant. And this is a curveball, folks. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the scientific name of it. This is golden ivy, golden pothos. They also call it like the devil's ivy, the devil's hand. This is not an all completely underwater aquarium plant, but this is plant like i saw this plant at like lowe's or home depot you can get this plant for like 2.99 get yourself some of this stuff i first saw it growing out of a tank at tory brown's house and i absolutely love it it's almost impossible to kill this plant takes me back to peru okay because when i was walking down the boardwalk in Iquitos, i saw one of these like 50 feet in the air growing up this like sick tree i gotta find the footage of that but uh, totally had me hello. And then when I saw one with a similar color pattern at my local Home Depot, I was like, that's mine. So I've been rolling it with this big, huge pot here. You can see uh, big leaves. Look, it takes the abuse. This thing lived all winter in the greenhouse. It got like 40 degrees in here. Does not care. Can't be killed. And then the nice part about it is when you get these plants, it takes them a while to adjust. It takes them a minute to like get their grow, as any plant does. It takes them a while to get th their flow going. But I want to show the difference. This is full sun, survived the winter, long, lanky. I like to actually use this and like you can use this stuff and kind of tie it and make it tall and i could i had it up on the the surface of, or the uh, the roof of the greenhouse for a while it's amazing but then i also like roll inside not full sun uh whatever i just have it in a little pot like this inside my house and i will put this back in here because this does not like full light because these leaves right here are made for low light in my kitchen so very versatile comes in a couple of different varieties too i've got this green variety here and uh, the tag says, 
uh, po I am Pothos Neon or whatever. I'll let you all check out the scientific name here. But like a couple of varieties. And if you're planting this in your house, just straight up in dirt, you can do like a mix. Like at one point I had a pot with like two different colors that looked pretty cool. So you can kind of like mix it together. And uh, yeah, it's great. It absorbs nitrates. I also have it going out the top of one of my old Whisper Number 3s uh, up in here in the greenhouse, which is a lot of fun too. So there's not one, but two species for you all on a species Sunday. I'm thrilled with this. You guys got to get yourself some of this stuff. I mean, just, oh, like, love it. Great plant. Having a riot with it. Like, hoping to, like, grow it all over the greenhouse or whatever. So that's what's up. Can you tell I'm excited? If you like what I'm doing, folks, subscribe. Everybody have a fabulous freaking week. Get out in the sun if it's near you. Make it an awesome one. And tank on. Later.